Hello my loves and welcome back. I'm going to be doing a random reading similar to like I would do with Bahati Love Notes. For those of you guys that don't know, Bahati Love Notes is my subscription where I send exclusive readings out to those who are subscribed. So I'm going to be channeling the energy through the tarot, just seeing what the cards have to say, what's the message, what's the vibe. Wow. I cannot escape this energy that's been showing up a lot here. Um, it showed up during Bahati Love Notes reading, and it's showing up here today. There's some type of influence here that's in the ethers, in the in the energy around the collective or around whoever is feeling called to listen to these videos right now. So Seven of Swords is actually the card of something that is being hidden from you. Eight of Pentacles is that which you should be walking away from. And King of Swords is discernment. In the past, we have Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So I do want to say that the energy around, like all around, seems like angels, your guides, ancestors, is trying to make you hyper aware or more intuitively aware of an energy here that may not have the highest intention for you. This could look like someone who is lying, cheating, manipulative, kind of hiding something, hiding the truth, not revealing their full intentions. That's a problem. That's a problem. And I don't, I'm not someone who usually says that every situation in our lives is meant to serve as a lesson. Some things, sometimes there's just people who just genuinely don't, um, they just move and operate from a lower vibration. This though, however, is really teaching you when to know when it's important, when to know when it's time to walk away, when to know when it's time to let it go, when to know when it's time to um, give up is the word that it is that I'm hearing. So leading into this energy, right, where you are today, there would have been some type of battle. It could look like, um, a battle of wills for some of you guys. Um, this has a lot to do with uh, duties, a sense of obligation, something that you feel that is expected of you. This might be wrapped in the in the, the lens of like uh, loyalty or when you're committed to something or someone, let's say if you're in a relationship, you give from the, the bottom of your heart from a good place, from a sweet place, kindness, consideration, patience, money, resources, in for like uh, something that can help your the other person. I think that there might have been a misuse or abuse of your generosity, of your kindness. There is a chance that you guys, whoever this person is, whatever this energy is coming from, that you have already been fighting with it. And that's actually one of the ways that you'll be able to see it. There was already like conflicts, tension, stress when it comes to this person. I also want to tell you that it might actually look like competition, that this person might have been operating and moving like they're in competition with you. It's interesting because not, not everyone here is going to feel like they were actually competing with this person. It's just this energy that is that you were picking up when you're talking to them, when there's comp when you're hearing about how they're talking about you, it's almost like they're bringing up what you do, what you've done, what you're about to do. Uh, I just heard the word uh, blessing in disguise, which is so interesting. So you might be in a position right now, a season where your blessings are multiplying. I've been seeing that a lot lately. I've been channeling a lot. I, sh I did a video about it on recently and just uploaded it while I was out in the garden. You guys know that when I'm gardening, when I'm grounding myself, I just really start channeling and just have to keep stopping to write down messages. It's so good for me too, for my soul. It just feels so amazing. But one of the recent messages that I picked up while I was doing my thing out there, just kind of putting the putting down spinach, was um, this energy about like blessings multiplying and things being more fruitful and the places in our in your life that might have been more stagnant that there was a drought you're going to start seeing those awakening and opening up now whoever this person is they may seem like they may be like a friend they may be someone who was normally wow and at the very bottom of this deck you have the ten of swords so we'll talk about that in a minute but they may have originally been someone who you would talk to like a friend you would help a lot you would reach out if they called you you would come 
um, quickly to help them to set them upright or to provide resources, understanding, again, like help them. But now it almost seems like, I don't know if this is jealousy. I don't know if this is just, they're not meant to enter into the next season of your life. But it feels like there's a lot of energy right now that your angels and your guides are calling them out of your life or to be aware of their energy and their intention because if it was once pure, it is no longer. If this is someone that is a best friend, a sister, a companion, I, a coworker, I would question intention especially if your intuition starts pinging that there's something off about this person and I do want to say that it really does seem like they're taking advantage of your generosity your kindness your heart so um, for those of you guys that are in relationships I want you to be very very aware of like stress and tension within those relationships constantly fighting like a challenging energy from the other person it might actually awaken a part of you that you don't like and this is just being totally transparent sometimes there's people that you love them you you vibe but sometimes when you something about them or something about the relationship, especially as you evolve, as they evolve, as the relationship evolves, you may not that you may not bring up the best in each other. And this is something that I really want you to be aware of. When you are with this person, do you feel like you are thriving? Do you feel like you're healthy? Do you feel like you're the best version of yourself? Or is it triggering parts of you that are troll-like in nature? And if you, you have to really be aware of your own intention. You have to be aware of your own energy. You have to take accountability with that. You have to move with integrity. So it's sometimes there's something about someone and the way that the relationship has evolved that you may not, again, you may not necessarily show, showcase the best of yourself. And if that's the case, this is something else, a sign that it's time for you to kind of let this relationship go, let it cool off, give it space, give it distance, because... Um, it's not bringing out the best in either of you or what you guys create in the relationship as far as what it is now is not something that your angels and your guides support. Yeah, they want you, they're really talking about right now starting to look at different connections, starting to explore different connections, friendships, relationships, different communities, different areas. I do want to tell you, and I don't want to shock you at all by any means, but this is what the, t the cards are showing right now. I do want to tell you that in the future, you're going to be walking away from not just not the, not just this person, but a few a few relationships, a few things. I don't see this as just people. I see this. Um, I was just talking to those who are subscribed on Bahati Love Notes that there's oftentimes when you're being called a away from a relationship or in a period of transition and transformation we it doesn't just fall in one spot it may fall in a, a bunch of different places like you may find that you're clearing out your closet you may feel like you need to get out of your space you need to go for more walks places that you would normally be okay with settling in it's like you're being called up and out of it and it doesn't have to be like you're moving away from your home it could just be that you feel like i need to travel i need to i want to work more hours at work um I want to spend more time at the gym. There's something here that the energy, like you're starting to ping, you're starting to pick up that uh, you're entering into a season of transition or change and transformation in some way. Usually it ends up being very beautiful. It ends up being very abundant. It's in our best interest to follow that intuition. Along with that though, it can mean that there's some relationships that as you start activating this energy of transition and movement, they too have to fall away. And that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing here, especially when it comes to energy relationships, connections that don't serve anymore. They don't seem like they're positive, especially if there's competition, chaos, pushing back, stress, dysfunction, challenging all the time. Why are we doing that? There's no, there's no need for that. This could be the place that this would normally be the spot. The, like uh, maybe you would throw parties together, go to parties together, see each other mingle. You would always show up to events or do things together, work together, but in this situation, again, I'm seeing you pulling yourself up and out and finding yourself almost like you're, like for the other person, it's almost like you're being distracted by other things, other stuff. Um, so they might feel a little slighted by like, where are you going now? Like, what are you up to? It's just a natural progression of you guys separating um, or, ener or you s splitting from energy that doesn't serve you anymore. 
I want to really shuffle on this energy of the future and just see what we have here. And then I'm going to look into the Oracle cards. Wow, that card really wanted to jump out. Yeah, I had a feeling about this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling about this. Um, quickly, I feel like you're going to be learning. Listen, I eat. Okay. I, I feel, I, I really strongly believe that I would put, I would bet money on it that when you start pulling yourself away or when you start feeling yourself pulled away from certain things, I think it'll be rapid and fast how things kind of intensify as far as, um, you being pulled even further <laughs> away. I want to tell you that with the King of Swords showing up, King of Cups, Page of Swords, Two of Swords, it's okay to watch some things naturally dissolve away. The vision that it is that I'm getting in my mind's eye, in my intuitive eye, is uh, something similar to what I was doing the other day. I was making a hummingbird, like I was creating a, a little nectar for my hummingbird feeder because I'm trying to manifest hummingbirds in my garden. So fingers crossed for that. Please send me good vibes <laughs> with that. I would love to get some hummingbird. And you guys are be the first person I let know as soon as a uh, hummingbird, when a hummingbird enters into my yard. And anyway, okay, so we derailed. I was making them a nectar, a nectar from natural cane, cane sugar. I wanna be really responsible for the energy that is that I bring, um, even if my intention is positive to the environment. So I was making something from scratch. And I was watching the sugar kind of dissolve into this hummingbird feeder. And that's kind of what it is that I'm seeing here in my mind's eye is the natural uh, disintegration of things that it's, it's not meant to carry on. It's not meant to live forever. It's not meant to last forever. And if it does linger longer than it needs to, it can create a, a problem of growth because growth is going to happen regardless, but growth that happens in the wrong areas of your life. Now, oftentimes when we hear the word growth, we automatically hope for it or assume that the growth is going to be positive. Growth, again, is something that is natural, especially after endings, after transformation. If we stay lingering in the wrong spots, that growth can look like mildew, rot, dysfunction, chaos, di um, uh, drama. It doesn't look good. It could eat, it could be something that eats away at your peace of mind, your health, your vitality, your, your, your growth of your business, your finances, because you spend yourself, you find yourself spending too much time pouring into this person, fostering the growth of this relationship when you should be fostering the growth of your mind, body, soul, spirit, evolution. So your angels and your guides are teaching you right now the main lesson is about allowing relationships, connections, situations to naturally dissolve when they're meant to, when they're supposed to. I want to tell you again, last message, that growth is going to happen regardless, but it it will, if you're not allowing the right things, and you'll know because by the way that it feels, if you're not allowing the right things to dissolve and melt away, then you will find yourself experiencing that growth in the wrong areas. And I do want to tell you that your angels and your guides always have your highest and greatest good for you. They're actually telling you that there's something really beautiful on the horizon, especially with the two of cups, three of wands here. You just need to start looking for it. Start looking for different things. Start venturing out. Yep. 10 of cups. That's literally the card of happily ever after. Okay. So let me get my Oracle going for you. Just any additional messages of support to help you with this reading, help you through this reading. We have Wombat Spirit be at home, which is very beautiful. We love a homebody. We have Eel, Electric Eel Spirit, bring your ideas to life. And then we have Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back. And then we have Scarab Beetle. Scarab Beetle magic works through you. 
So I do want to tell you that in the future, you guys, please start focusing more about intention setting manifestation. I got asked this question in Sacred Circle Tarot School. One of my students asked me, Jess, is it, it can you ever be exhausted with manifesting? Like, is manifestation exhaustion a real thing? Manifest Manifesting is something that we're always doing subconsciously and consciously. Setting intention sometimes can be exhausting if we lean too much in our masculine energy. I do want to tell you that in this wombat spirit, electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life, be at home season that is coming up in your reading, it feels very imperative for manifestation to, for you to look like Again, releasing, leaning more into your feminine energy, being receptive, releasing, letting go, cleansing, and allowing yourself to savor, enjoy the things that bring you peace. That's going to help you to easily and effortlessly conjure up, manifest that which is high vibrational for you right now. It doesn't feel like additional work if you're doing it right. And I believe I have videos about this. If not, please let me know down in, down in the comments. Please also... I could do shorter videos on TikTok. I've been exploring TikTok a little bit more than I have in the past. And so far, so good. The The uh, community has been very receptive and open to me. So that encourages me to come back. But um, I can do a mini video about manifestation, setting intention, and feminine energies if you guys are interested in that. Anyway, when it comes to this reading though and in the future, I actually do see something manifesting. I, I do see something that you set intention for. Now, I don't know if this is something that you've already set intention for or if it's something that you are going to set intention, especially as you're being led, as you're being led away from or things are being led away from you that don't serve you anymore, that are acting as barriers. I'm really curious about the intention, like what is this person or what is the energy of this intention behind um, behind it? I don't know what it is. Now, I was going to say goodbye, but I think as someone who loves to go above and beyond, I would like to actually grab the charms for you if you don't mind. Just a second. All right, so I have the charms here. I'm just gonna read the energy a little bit further. It will get loud. So please um, feel free to turn the volume on your camera down or on your phone down. And uh, yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Wow. So right away, right away, let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but definitely there's a sign here about relationships and having hope for relationships and connections in the future. I don't know if you're also seeing this, but you have the beetle, the scare beetle right here in the center. And I really, really love that right on top of will, believe and faith. This is something that is literally going to spontaneously show up in your life. This is going to be something that you're going to be making new memories with. I don't know if you're seeing this, but I'm seeing this so abundantly, the energy of femininity, especially when it comes to Mother Mary energy, immaculate conception, something that just kind of like pops up, something that reveals itself. There is some type of um, message here that was um, left undiscovered by you, and by that, it almost feels like it was hidden from you. I don't know what's going to show up with that, but you will know. You'll know when you'll know, you'll know, you'll know. You'll know it when you see it, when you hear it. You also have the leaf here, and this is about letting things go instead of trying to focus on fixing them, okay? Instead of trying to fix things, let them go. You also have the spider charm here, which is the charm of co-creation, manifestation, magic. And I don't know if you're seeing this, but we do have the feminine the uh, cowrie shell of femininity here, okay? So spirit is also talking definitely about letting things go that do not serve and you being the one to actively cut them out or allowing them to dissolve as they remove themselves from your life. I do wanna look at this little charm right here. Oh my God, it's the emperor energy. Wow, this is actually in the position of the past and this is the only tarot charm that, that's in here. So I just feel that you're gonna be letting go 
of Emperor, your own uh, leadership, not leadership energy, but your masculine, like being in your masculine for too much. Um, there needs to be balance here. That's going to be the center for you, actually. Blessed are the curious, for they shall have, have adventures. Yes, I definitely feel newness for you. You have I will. Yep. So um, also look at this, you guys. I want to tell you that your intentions are really supported right now. Your your magic manifestation is being really supported through your will, right? But think about with the scarab beetle, often and all the magic that's conjugated here, it's, it's your manifestation is going to look like you having faith, you letting go, and anything that you let go of, just know that it's meant to regrow. It's it's going to regenerate in the way that it's meant to be. Um, it's interesting that we have the bike here on top of the family charm. So this could be spending quality time with your family, doing things that is that you love for fun or movement, um, but enjoyable movement. I just want to tell you to try not to fix the masculine energy is in the past, right? So try not to be someone who is trying to fix, fix things, trying to, um, like make things happen in your life, make a relationship work. Oh, the one who's always putting an effort at some point it's important for you to kind of let go. Like, don't let your loyalty be the thing that stops things from manifest, allow, stops a blessing from manifesting, right? Um, this charm is here too, which I really love. Um, I just feel like there's what is meant for you is not going to find you. I mean, well, it will, but what's meant for you isn't going anywhere. Like, the right things won't go anywhere. And if you do watch it, you even have the popsicle here. If the circumstances and the situations around this relationship and circumstance start melting it and making it dissolve all by itself, it just wasn't meant to last. It just honestly wasn't meant to last. Imagine keeping a popsicle in the freezer forever because you don't want it to go away. It's like, well, at some point, maybe we should just try. It's, it's designed to be enjoyed. And if I take it out and it goes away forever, it's it's it just wasn't meant to be and there's some relationships that are like popsicles and there's some relationships that are like bricks they're meant to last okay so last charm here we have wow believe in love believe in love and there's a lot of that when it comes to love relationships connections unity coming together we do have the scorpio charm here which has a lot to do with intimacy connection and depth in relationships but also we can't overlook it this is also the charm the sign that rules letting go and of things that disregard, you know, things that it's it's just meant for us to relinquish. Okay, so is this an oyster? Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. The oyster might be symbolic for someone here. I just, I definitely see this as divine feminine energy, but that's just me. All right, honeys. Look, I don't know if you guys see this, but this charm is also unlimited potential for you in the future, especially when it comes to letting go and allowing manifestation to do what it's got to do. All right, honeys, I got to roll, but thank you so much for allowing me to tap in and tune into your energy. I do do readings very much like this um, uh, for Bahati Love Notes. They are timeless readings. There's so many on there. I like to encourage people now to kind of roll the dice like just randomly pick a reading or look at the titles of those that are already uploaded. It is a $15 membership. Um, there's a coupon code right now. I'll link it down below. But um, there is a membership that you can sign up for in order to get new access to those exclusive readings. I'm doing them all the time. They're not seen here on YouTube. They're only there. They're only available there. If this is a reading that really benefited you, that helped you, I'm more than happy to uh, do them for you in the future. Just let me know down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, of course. And until then, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.